Hi, this is Josh with True Tech Tools. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes look at the BIS 700 underground borescope from Wooler. Uh, this scope's been around for a while. Um, it is a more premium scope on the market and it's got some neat features which I'll go into. Uh, first thing I want to go into is I'm going to open up the bottom part of this case here. Flip it upside down. I want to show you the reel, the camera reel. So this is where the, the camera system the reel and the camera head are going to be stored. Uh, you're really not going to get in here at all, but this is where you would go to clean the camera if it was uh, put down a dirty pipe or you know, it gets kind of you know, dirty while you're uh, looking at an anomaly. Um, but this is, uh, again, this is all IP67 waterproof, so you would just open this case, give it a good spray out, wash everything out, um, and then uh, close it back up. There's a little trick to get it in there, but it's not too bad as long as it's lined up. It, it shuts easily. And the next thing we're going to look at is the camera does have a little garage door feature. This is where your scope is going to come out. Open that up and that's going to kind of naturally want to come out of there. It's under tension. Uh, you just want to make sure that as you're pushing the rod back in that you don't shove it back in. It does flow in and out pretty nicely, but if you do push it, you can cause it to bind up in there and it can cause some damage. The next thing we'll look at here is the top part of the compartment. Uh, this is a very rugged case. Um, it's good for, it's very mobile, it's good for in-field use. Uh, it houses a 240 minute battery, uh, which is, you know, plenty of time to, you know, get a job done. You can also plug it into the wall charger and continue on wall power if you want. Uh, but in the case, we have plenty of storage all the way around. We got the extra one inch camera head, We've got accessory guides uh, for the camera head to protect the camera in a, a, a maybe an iron pipe that might have uh, some sharp edges so you're not you know, rubbing against those sharp edges. It'll keep the camera protected. Um, then we have the extra domes back here. They're plastic polycarbonate domes. And then the actual screen itself. This is the display screen. This is an HD display. I'll push that, it'll pop up. It does tilt towards you. It'll tilt left and right, depending on where you wanna go. And it's got a little handle here that you can use. Uh, the, the handle is mainly, you know, if your hands are dirty and you don't want to touch the screen, you can use the handle without getting dirt and grime all over the camera itself. Um, power button here turns on the screen. Uh, it does have the ability to either send images through Wi-Fi over to a cell phone or a tablet. Um, you also have an SD card built in where you can save images to a SD card or a USB drive. Uh, over here is where you would, it's a type C USB where you would charge the actual camera system like that um, and then for voice annotations um, you can plug in a headset if you're in a noisy environment and you can make uh, voice annotations uh, straight to the internal memory of the system itself um, let's see here aside from that uh, this camera when you when you get into the two different cameras um, there we go this is the inch and a half pan tilt and zoom camera uh, this is the one inch non pan tilt camera um, this isn't, they are both HD cameras, um, but you, you know, again, only one has the pan, tilt, and zoom feature. Um, the one inch camera also has a light ring inside of it, and you can buy additional light rings uh, and roller guide systems uh, on the accessories. Um, last thing I'm going to go over is one other thing I wanted to talk about in this. Um, and it had to do with the, oh, you got the home feature here. So if you look here, you can see that it'll tell you what degree your camera is sitting at while it's in a pipe. And so if you get kind of twisted around, you can always go to the home button, touch it once, and the camera will realign itself to get it level. Uh, and you don't have to, it does that automatically. You don't have to do anything, just push the button. So other than that, that's it. That's kind of the behind the scenes look of this particular system. Uh, again, the BIS 700, if you have any uh, questions, you can always call us, visit truetechtools.com, or email us at info at truetechtools.com. Thank you. Have a good day.